uh, arm weaving? You guys uh, are doing the standard arm weaving, correct? Do you guys, what type of drills do you do with that? Do you just kind of just, I, I'm going to, I'm just going to grab you just because you, you, you're staring at me pretty intently. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so right over here, everything, you guys always for respects, right? You're going to go ahead and grab. So basic position over here, okay? What's the basic position? This, right? Is this good, bad? Yes, sir. Is this good, bad? That's complete domination. The fight should end right there. Okay? So watch this. Right over here. Well, I'm going to basically get this position. So you stand right in front right over here. Okay, the way that you want to think about it is that I'm taking my middle finger and I'm trying to go over here to his ear hole. And what I'm going to do, because look what happens. If he was much bigger than me, it's going to be hard for me to pull him straight down. But watch what happens. What do, watch, watch what I do with my finger. I'm going to go ahead and roll his head. See how I'm rolling his head? And then guess what I'm going to do? Then I'm going to go ahead and push down because what I'm doing is I'm breaking his spine. So if he was much bigger, it's going to be harder for him to go ahead and go up. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to put my head right next to him and I'm going to go ahead and put that weight down. But I'm going to be pulling it straight down, boom, down right over here. Now, one of the drills that we've done before is that when you guys are grabbing the back of the head, where are you guys grabbing the back of the head? You go into the shoulder, mid, where the man bun is, what do you, what do you think? Suboccipital, or uh, right here, man bun. Yeah, the man bun, yeah. exactly, yeah. right over here. And this is going to be much easier. So standard arm weaving, let me see, so go ahead and lock up with me. Okay, right over here, one, oh, he's going to do that 50-50, but let's just, just stand and run right over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Yep, right over here, up on top, right? Okay, so right over here, okay, do you guys do this, where I'm just going to arm weaver in, pull, and then he goes, okay? So one of the things that I want you guys to, to watch as I'm doing this, right over here, is that once he's basically locking me, okay, the way that I want to think about it, you know that it's going to be shoulder width apart, correct? Shoulder width apart, I'm going to be up on, if you guys jump up, like right, you jump up three times, you see where you're landing on the pads of your feet, that's where you want to be up. From over here, if he has this dominant position, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and if I had my gloves on, or no gloves, or MMA gloves, I'm basically going to the crease of the elbows, I'm putting it straight down. Now, if I don't have this, let's just say that, you know, some people that don't know how to clinch, they'll either have it on the hips, they'll have it on the shoulders. What do you think he's going to be doing with this elbow? Oh, yeah. He's going to be hitting me. So this is the reason that this is going to be very important for me to kind of stand over here. Over here, like I know you guys have mirrors on the side, is I always make sure that I'm checking, checking myself to make sure that my body is straight up and down. So watch what I do with this hand. Watch my left hand. I'm going to go ahead and pull down. Let's keep hold so watch what happens. See how I offset his body? What I'm going to do, this hand right over here, I'm just going to go ahead and arm weave. Okay? It's not going to be a big motion. It's just going to be like a slow motion right over here. And as I go in, I'm going to go ahead and grab to his, his um, top part of his head. Look what's happening with my elbow. Look what's happening. I'm popping his elbow up because guess what I can do? I can go ahead and knee. But right over here, once I lock, grab him like his man bun, right? Opposite foot. I'm going to step to the outside. I'm still holding on with this. And I'm going to go, he's going to transition. I'm going to go ahead and step and pull. So notice what's happening. I'm not just pulling his head straight down. I'm basically trying to turn it like a steering wheel. As I'm turning it like a steering wheel, look what I'm doing with the opposite hand. I'm arm weaving in and I'm locking. And then you can see that I'm pressing my body straight down. Basically go to the piece of my arm. Boom, right over here. So watch what happens. So he's going to pull one side down. Oh, right over here, he arm weaves in. Look what I do with his opposite hand. I'm automatically grabbing right over here. Other ways that I can do it is I can also trap by shrugging my shoulders. He's gonna go ahead and arm weave in again. Boom, he locks. And you can see that I grab that crease. So over here, I'm grabbing. Boom, and lock, he goes to me. Right over here. And notice the position, what's happening when I'm pulling him. Which way is he doing it, bud? So notice the, like we're dancing, right? So what does it look like he's doing to me versus watch what I do to him? What's happening? What's the difference? He's pulling him to the side. Off he's going in a circle, okay? Because what you're seeing right now is that he's basically, I can tell what you're doing is that you're basically pulling and then you're pushing. So again, if I get somebody that's much bigger and stronger, who am I, who's gonna win if I'm gonna be pushing? So if we were to move these heavy bags, right, or those, um, those little stand-up uh, bags over there, are we gonna push it, or are you gonna go ahead and spin it? So that's what you should think about when you're actually doing the clinch. 
As soon as I lock up, I'm looking to kind of move that person by stepping, okay? This guy has the worst clinch in tag, so we'll see. Right over here, so we're gonna just basic arm moving. Boom, right over here. So watch what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and pull. He pulls. Pull. And it's just gonna be non-stop, right? So, ooh, oh, and we're just going. And that's all I want you guys to do. Go ahead and get somebody similar in size. I want you guys to just do it. All right, two gloves on two. One, two. All right, let's go.